Hi, this is John. Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick for Thomcraft version 6. In this episode, we're going to be looking into the Brain in a Jar research on the Goldmancy tab. So, the Brain in a Jar is something that can help you collect experience that is dropped near it. So, we need an observation in Goldmancy, a theory in Goldmancy, a zombie brain, and we have to examine something brainy. In other words, you have to have scanned zombie brains and possibly an angry zombie to unleash this in the beginning. Okay, once we've got that, it will also unlock some research for warp, so I'll have to look into that later. The brain in the jar is going to need 25 cognitive CO, 25 ex animus, and 25 census. We're going to need two spider eyes, a bucket of water, a brain, and a warded jar. So, the instability is moderate, but since we've got our stabilizers now, that should not be a problem. So let's go put things on our platforms. Ward a jar in the middle. Feel like I'm missing a zombie brain. Alright, got our zombie brain, brain placed. I've put the aspects over here. I've got 30 in each of these jars over here. So let's grab our caster's gauntlet and go ahead and start the infusion. There we go, and we gain some warp. Oh well. Warp is kind of like flux. It's a negative mechanic that uh, attaches to your character and causes negative effects for you. However, it also opens the door to one of the other avenues in Thomcraft. So, you know, you, you get something good, you get something bad. All right, let's see here. It's still checking out the stone from last time. Let's actually, I think it's about done. Yeah, it's done now. Okay, so you see I got some experience there, but let's see what happens when we put some more stuff in there and come back. The brain looks very cool, by the way. It follows you when, when you're near it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and chuck this iron ore in here, and I'll stand back so I don't gain any experience. I want the brain to get it. And later on, we can come back and we can get the experience from the jar. So, let's see what happens later on when that is done. Okay, I think it's done with the smelting. Let's go check its progress. Yep, there's my ingots. We also got some extra iron nuggets and even a few rare earths in there. So, uh, a very good use for the infernal furnace over a vanilla furnace. And now that we've got our brain in the jar, if we want to get that experience back, you simply right click to shake the jar and get the experience. So there you go, it's basically an experience tank. Well, that covers Brain in the Jar. Thanks for watching. See you next time.